presented by Union Bank of India and powered by LIC of India. Hi there, I am Ziva Kohli and I cannot be more happy to welcome you to Ziva and her chocolate factory. So I have a lot of wonderful things lined up for you, little recipe videos, a few cute, cute, cute recipes that you can make at home with your little sister, your little brother, your big didi, your big brother, your mummy, daddy, nana, nani. And yes, it's all going to be fun. And I'm going to give you a few tips to have chocolate and yet be skinny and fit. And how are we going to do that? We're going to do that by choosing the rice ingredients and choosing the right story to build a mood. And let's get started right now. So what are we doing here today? Today, we are at the Kalagoda Festival. We are digital, we are online, and that's the way to be in 2021 and all the way forward, right? And what is Kalagoda? So Kalagoda is a beautiful area in Mumbai. It's a heritage area and it was built by so many so many so many years ago by people who were so many years older than you more old than our grandparents and our great grandparents and when something is so precious what do we do we save it we protect it and we celebrate it so this year kalagoda festival 2021 we're going to celebrate life, good health, and of course, chocolate with Ziba Kohli and fantasy fine chocolate. So I am 55 years old, almost as old as the Oompa Loompas perhaps, or maybe as old as the grandfather in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah, so I'm 55 years old. And I have a brand called Fantasy Fine Chocolate, which is 80 years old, made by my grandfather. And that is why today is so precious, because I've picked up this beautiful book by Roald Dahl. And I'm sure you all have heard about it. It's called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And if you haven't heard about it, please, please read, because that's what life is about, right? reading, learning, imagination, and let's get started into imagining so many things. So I want you to close your eyes, take a deep breath and imagine melted chocolate. Imagine a swimming pool of melted chocolate. Yes, as I said, a swimming pool of melted, melted milk chocolate i wish you could eat it and maybe soon you will come to fantasy chocolate and you will eat it and here we have a swimming pool of white chocolate oh my god and here we have a swimming pool of dark chocolate and why am I calling these little things a swimming pool? Because when you put little, little gems inside these big swimming pools or you put almonds. So these little almonds floating in the swimming pool is everything I want you to imagine. And where is chocolate made from? cocoa bean. So this is how the cocoa pod looks. So the cocoa tree grows to my height and little more than me. And all these little, little cocoa pods, which are green and orange in color, are hanging on the tree trunk and from these branches. Now from this, you get 45 cocoa beans and that is as small as a cocoa bean looks so inside this cocoa pod 
you get between 45 till maybe 55 as old as me cocoa beans and when you crush the cocoa beans after you roast it you get melted chocolate yes that's how chocolate is made and when you crush the beans is it sweet no when you add sugar it becomes sweet when you add milk it becomes milk chocolate if you add sugar it becomes a sweeter milk chocolate and if you don't add milk but only you add crushed mass from the beans and a bit of sugar wow that's how icing sugar and powdered sugar looks right so when you add this you get a dark chocolate which is little sweet and how is white chocolate made white chocolate is made with milk sugar and cocoa butter yes all the white ingredients make white chocolate when you add cocoa powder, which is dark, then you start making a darker colored chocolate. So let's get started into the excitement of today. So Roald Dahl wrote this book called Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Who is in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, okay? So the, how many children are there? There are five children in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. One is Augustus Gloop. Who's Augustus Gloop? He's a greedy little boy. All he wants to do is chomp, 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 and eat, 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 eat. Veruca Salt. Who's Veruca Salt? She's a little girl who's a spoiled little girl by her parents. All the time she's given chocolates and chocolates and chocolates to eat and drink and gems and candy. She's a spoilt little girl. Violet Bureaucrat. Who's Violet Bureaucrat? She's a girl who chews all day long. Chewing gum. Looks like a cow, right? The cow is constantly chewing cud. But Violet Bureaucrat is permanently chewing gum. And then we have Mike TV. Who's Mike TV? He's a boy who does nothing but watch television. Gosh, that sounds quite fun sometimes. But you can't watch television all the time. You can watch it sometimes. And of course, who's the hero of this book? Charlie Bucket. So shall we do one quick recipe just to get in the mood? Come on. So all of us are told by our teachers and our parents, eat healthy breakfast. But breakfast, oh my God, every single day you wake up early in the morning and you have to go to school and you have to brush your teeth and you have to have a bath and you have to wear all your clothes and you have to go to school and then you have to study. How do you find time for breakfast? Actually, breakfast is a wonderful meal of the day. It's the most important meal of the day. And yes, if you like, you can put chocolate. So let's make that. So I have a tall, very pretty glass here. Now, how is it healthy? Because we all love cereal, right? So here I have a nice little bowl of muesli. You know muesli? It has oats, it has dried fruits, it has cornflakes. I love cornflakes. Mm. It has whole wheat flakes. It has all the yummy, yummy things in there. So in my glass, what I'm going to put is two spoons of a yummy cereal try to choose a healthy cereal when you choose a healthy cereal well then it just gets healthy 
and any cereal you choose, even if it's a Oompa Loompa cereal or a chocolate cereal, that just has a little more sugar. So it's nice if you choose something with less sugar. Then here I have, you know, yogurt, dahi. So if you are, if you love milk and if you love your milky dahi, then you can use gharka dahi or any yogurt that your mama makes. If you have maybe dairy allergies, you don't like milk, then you can have a coconut yogurt. So that is dairy free. So on my cereal, I'm going to put some yogurt. There we are. And I did promise you something healthy, right? So quickly, I'm going to put just five almonds. Why five? Because all our grandmother said, Bas bache, paach badam roj khao. It makes your brain very, very healthy and you remember all those maths formulas. So let's quickly put in five almonds. I have raisins, kishmish, so that you don't need sugar, you know, because kishmish, raisins is sweet. So I put a nice bunch of raisins because I love sweet. And then I love cashews. Wow, look at these big, big cashews. So I'm going to count and put five cashews. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm going to add just a little more yogurt. I love my cereal crunchy. You remember Violet, right? She loves to mm, chew. So this makes it nice and crunchy and chewy. Yeah. And I did promise you today was about chocolate. So I have a beautiful dark drinking chocolate. And then we are going to use some of it here. There we are. And then just because, just because it's a treat. One blue gel. And that is your healthy dessert. Well, snack. Well, television snack. After dinner snack. Breakfast snack. I like to call it my everyday snack. It's healthy. It's low on sugar. And if you love bananas, you can top it up with chopped bananas. If you like mangoes, if you like strawberries, if you like any fruit, you can add fruit and this is going to be your healthy, anytime, all the time, Ziva Koli Charlie snack. So that was about breakfast. Come on, let's now read another paragraph. So just let me say, eeny, meeny, my more. Okay. Page 125, chapter 23. Square sweets that look round. What? I have a biscuit which is round. It doesn't look square. Who is this author Roald Dahl? How can something round look square? Okay, let's find out. Everybody stopped and crowded to the door. The top half of the door was made of glass. Grandpa Joe lifted Charlie up so he could get a view and look in. Charlie saw a long table and on the table there were rows and rows of small white square shaped sweets. <gasps> small white square shaped sweets. What were they? Hmm. The sweets looked very much like square sugar lumps. Oh, except that each of them had a funny little pink face painted on one side. And at the end of the table, a number of Oompa Loompas were busily painting more faces on more sweets. You know what? 
we are going to paint a smiley face on something which is healthy. Yes, healthy. So here's a tip, folks. The way to be healthy is choose a nice biscuit. A biscuit which is maybe a digestive biscuit, a biscuit which is multi-grain, a ragi biscuit, a jawari biscuit. You get really lovely biscuits which are whole and uh, made from whole grain. They have no sugar. And if you dip it in dark chocolate, like a really dark chocolate. Now a dark chocolate does not have milk and a dark chocolate has less sugar. And the darker the chocolate, the lesser the sugar. So let's take two very nice biscuits, okay? And we're gonna dip it into dark chocolate right here. So I'm gonna take my Mari biscuit and drop it in, both of them. Nalu, Karatsala. So, that's how you dip chocolate. What? Fell down? Let's pick it up again. So that's a biscuit. I'm going to dip nice yummy, 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 yummy chocolate. So quickly, 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 this is how biscuits are made. Chocolate dipped biscuits. Now I promised you we're going to do something healthy. So we're going to make eyes. We're going to use almonds. This is an almond. Hmm. Yes, it's an almond. So we're going to make two eyes. Tissue. Tissue. We're going to use two almonds as eyes and did it ever strike you that a cashew can be used as a smiley? So I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to put all of this in a nice cool refrigerator but before I do that I promised you a round chocolate biscuit with a smiley face and we are now going to make a pretty little design on this one maybe you can see it now maybe you can't I'm going to pop it into the fridge for about 25 minutes and come back and read the paragraph. Yeah. And here we are. So quickly, let's get into another paragraph. Let's talk about the Oompa Loompas. Chapter 16, page 83. Oompa Loompas, everyone said at once. Oompa Loompas. Imported direct from Loompa land, said Mr. Wonka proudly. So I am Indian. 
but the Oompa Loompas are from Loompa Land, said Mr. Wonka. See, that was the Oompa Loompa. There's no such place, said Mrs. Salt. What is this Loompa Land? Excuse me, dear lady. Of course there is a Loompa Land. Mr. Wonka, cried Mrs. Salt, I'm a teacher of geography. In which geography map is there a Loompa Land? Then you will know all about it, Mr. Wonka said. And oh, what a terrible country it is. Nothing but thick jungles infested by the most dangerous beasts, those terrible, wicked wangadoodles. Wangadoodles? A wangadoodle would eat ten Oompa Loompas for breakfast and come galloping back for a second helping. So I have a tip for the Oompa Loompa. When the Wangadoodles come to eat you for breakfast, give them a healthy breakfast offering and tell the Wangadoodles, go eat some breakfast. That's what I will tell Mr. Wonka. Gosh! When I went out there to Loompa Land, Mr. Wonka said, I found little Oompa Loompas living in tree houses. They had to live in trees to escape the Wangadoodles and the Hong Swagglers. Yes, the Wangadoodlers and the Hong Swagglers? What's that? And the Schnoz Wangers. So here are three words for you. Schnoz bangers. Jeez. And they were living on green caterpillars and the caterpillars tasted revolting. The poor little Oompa Loompas were eating caterpillars. And the Oompa Loompas spent every moment of their days climbing through the tree tops looking for other things to mash up and put in the caterpillars to make them better. Red beetles, for instance, and the eucalyptus leaves and the bark of the bong bong tree and all of them beastly but not quite so beastly as the caterpillars gosh that is so upsetting so i think i am gonna make something for the oompa loompas and what i would like to feed the oompa loompas is a delicious plant-based not a living thing. No caterpillars and red beetles. None of that. Let us make for the Oompa Loompas a delicious almond rock. So what is an almond rock? Yes, we're going to use some almonds. And yes, we're going to use chocolate. So let's make almond rock with milk chocolate. So I'm going to take a little bowl, I have a little bowl here, and I'm going to just put in a small amount of chocolate, just enough, there, wow, I want to dive into this swimming pool of milk chocolate, and I'm so happy that I have chocolate here today. And you will also have some nice melted chocolate. So if you want melted chocolate in your kitchen, all your mama needs to do is buy 100 grams of any milk chocolate and you can melt it. Your mama will melt it for you and she will give you the melted chocolate in a little bowl. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one tablespoon of almonds, little more of almonds. 
that's it. Simple. And then I'm going to teach you how to make almond rocks. So when you are reading and you have an imaginative, wild imaginative story to tell, you find rocks in the garden and rocks on the beach and rocks in a jungle, well, you can make your own chocolate rocks with almond, healthy, in your kitchen. So all we're going to do is make sure the almonds are covered in the melted chocolate. Very simple. Not difficult at all. It becomes difficult because before you make the rock, you want to eat it. So don't eat it yet. All we need to do is quickly drop it with a spoon neatly. Wow, so pretty. And one more. So easy and so pretty. Yes. And one more. I'm going to make three. Two for you. One for me. No, that's not right. Two for you. One for the Oompa Loompas. Quickly. I'm going to put this in the fridge for 20 minutes. Now, quickly, time is running out. I know you want to run and you want to eat something and you want to drink something or you want to make a delicious, delicious dessert, right? Okay. Page 165, chapter 28. Only Charlie left. Uh-oh. Which room shall it be next, said Mr. Wonka, as he turned away and darted into the lift. I wonder why he darted into the lift. Come on, hurry up. We need to get going, Charlie. And how many children are there left now? Little Charlie looked at Grandpa Joe. And Grandpa Joe looked at Charlie. But Mr. Wonka, Grandpa Joe called after him. There's only Charlie left now. One boy. Mr. Wonka swung around. He stared at Charlie. There was a silence. Charlie stood there holding his grandfather's hand tightly. Don't leave me, Grandpa. Don't leave me, Grandpa. You mean you're the only one left, Charlie? Mr. Wonka said, pretending to be surprised. Why, yes, whispered Charlie. I'm the only one left. Mr. Wonka suddenly exploded with excitement. But my dear boy, he cried out, that means you've won. Oh my God, winning. And what do you win? Chocolate. Oh my God. He rushed out of the lift and started shaking the little boy, Charlie. Charlie's hand almost came off because Mr. Wonka was shaking it and shaking it. I congratulate you, Mr. Wonka said. I really do. I am delighted you have won, Charlie. It couldn't be better. How wonderful it is. I had a hunch, you know, Charlie. It was going to be you. Now the fun is really going to start. But we mustn't dilly. We mustn't dally. There's no time to lose now. 
we have an enormous number of things to do before the day is over. Just think of all the arrangements that need to be made and the people we have to fetch. But lucky for us, we have a great glass lift to speed everything up. Jump in, Charlie, jump in. Oh my God. And then they went into the lift and it shot up like a rocket. Yippee, said Grandpa Joe. Charlie was clinging to Grandpa Joe's legs and Mr. Wonka was holding on to a strap from the ceiling. And the lift was going faster and faster and faster and faster. And oh, oh my God, a horse, cried Mr. Wonka. Wait and see. I've been longing to press this button for years and years. And oh my God, there was a crash and splintering wood and broken tiles came from above their heads. And they were out of the lift like a rocket. And Charlie won. And what did he win? Of course, he won the golden ticket and Charlie flew out of the lift, right? He could see all the houses and the streets and the snow was covering the houses and the streets. It looked all very frightening. Grandpa Joe said, Charlie, are you okay? And Mr. Wonka said, it's not snow, it's sugar. It's sugar covering the streets of my town. Oh my God, look at all the other children. They're coming home because their homes are all about having sugar everywhere. So sweet and so yummy. And that's when Charlie said, let's go down and meet everyone. And let's see all the sugar on the ground. And that brings me to the last cute little recipe and I feel little Charlie needs a hug. So what I want to give Charlie is a teddy bear. So I have a little plastic mold here, okay? You get these molds in the market. They are not very expensive and of course your mama can even order it online. I want to give little Charlie a big warm hug. Actually, two. So I'm going to make two chocolate teddy bear lollipops for him. And you remember the chapter I read had sugar. So we will put two gems, you know the colored little chocolate crunchy crunchy with sugar on the lollipop. Let's do it quickly. So here we have melted chocolate, my mold, and a spoon. Here my gem. So I'm going to put chocolate in one mold, a little more chocolate, because it's a big, yummy teddy bear mold. Yes. And I'm going to put chocolate in the second mold. Here we are. We're all set. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, too good, too good. I have two lollipop sticks here. So I'm going to put the lollipop sticks into the mold nicely into both the molds yeah and I'm gonna put two gems There we are. Perfect. And I'm going to put it into the fridge. Okay. And I'm going to show you how it's going to look. Thank you. 
So this was about the book reading today. I'm just going to come back in less than two seconds because remember all the recipes we made? One of them is right here. Our yummy breakfast. So one was a healthy breakfast and healthy meals at all times are so important. Then we made a yummy, yummy smiley face biscuit. Remember the squash sweets? Then we made, oh my God, a healthy rock, an edible rock, not made from stone, but really yummy with almonds. And of course, we made these yummy, yummy little lollipops. So I am just going to get it out from my refrigerator. Aha! Oh! Wow! Guess what we have here? So here are the almond rocks. Three rocks. Two for you. One for the Oompa Loompas. Here are the square shaped white sweets with the smiley. Oh no! Round milk or dark or white chocolate, whatever you want, to dip your healthy biscuit in with healthy nuts. And one just for fun which is pretty with all these multicolored sweets. And of course, for Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Charlie Bucket. Here are two warm teddy bear hugs for you with a little bit of crunch and lots of love. So I hope you all had a really nice time and at the end of this video, you're going to get a few more fun, fun, fun video recipes so you can actually see it, share it with your family members, siblings and friends and maybe when you have free time, have a creativity, get together and you can make all these cute little chocolate recipes with the help of someone from home, your mom, your dad, your big didi, big brother, nani, dadi, dada, nana, me. I'm there like Mr. Wonka. So have a lovely time and I'm going to see you soon. Take care of yourself now. <music>
healthy multi color delicious delicious after dinner after lunch or hell just breakfast if you please so it's something yummy and you're going to need cocktail cut fruits so here let's get started चीनू के जाने के बाद घर कितना सोना सोना हो जाएगा नहीं कहो तो मैं रिटायर हो जाऊं अभी एजुकेशन लोन और रिटायरमेंट के खर्चे ना बाबा ना और अगर रिटायरमेंट ऑलरेडी सिक्योर्ड हो तो तो फिर हो जाओ रिटायर <laughs> और वैसे भी शाम की चाय साथ पीना काफी रोमांटिक है नहीं चले स्मार्ट लोगों की क्लियर है प्रायोरिटी बाकी सब बात में सेकेंड इनिंग ऐसी पहले एल Presented by Union Bank of India.